All right, my friends, you know the deal. If you wanna make a difference with the way that you spend your dollars, go ahead and subscribe, hit the bell so we can stay connected and do it together. What's up everybody, my name is Chad. I'm your Legacy Goods Curator. You see, every single dollar we spend is a vote for the kind of world that we want to live in. You know, when we talk about change in the world, I can't tell you how important it is for us to pay attention to where we spend our dollars. And that's why I created this channel, so that we could explore the philosophies, the products, the goods, and the makers who are working to make this world a better place. All right, so here's my question for you right at the top of the video. Are you a reusable water bottle fanatic like I am? Yes or no, put it in the comments. And for bonus points, tell me what kind of bottle you love. All right, my friends, in this video, we are talking Hydro Flask versus Swell. Which one is colder? Which one is better? What do I like and love about each bottle and what do I dislike about each bottle? We're gonna be diving deep into these bottles because, well, I, because I'm a nerd and this is what I do for fun. So these steel double walled, vacuum insulated, reusable water bottles are like the greatest thing that ever happened to my insatious appetite for cold water or other cold beverages. But before we dive into what I love and don't love about these bottles, while I'm telling you about them, I'm going to be conducting an experiment. I call it, which bottle is colder? This is how this is gonna go down. I have both bottles, the Hydro Flask and the Swell. <sighs> I'm gonna fill both of them to the top with ice. Then I'm gonna put them out here in the backyard. Then I'm gonna set them out in the sun where they will have sunlight most of the day in the exact same spot. They're within one ounce of each other, so I wanted to get bottles that were close in size. So my plan as of right now is to check on them about every two hours to begin with. And then as the ice starts to thin out, I'll check on them every hour. So the idea is to see which bottle holds ice the longest sitting out in the sun all day long. The last one to have ice in it that I can hear when I do this is the winner. So stick with me to the end of the video to find out which one is colder. -er -er -er. Yeah. As you could clearly tell from the opening sequence, as I started to try to eliminate single-use plastics from my life, I became intimately familiar with the double-walled steel vacuum insulated water bottle. And I've used a ton of them. Now you may be asking, hey Chad, why are you talking about water bottles on the Legacy Goods channel? Well, my goodness, thank you for asking. Let me tell you. One of my friends recently posted on Instagram, and I won't get the quote exactly right, but the essence of it was that our legacy is how we set up future generations to live. So when I ask, what do you want your legacy to be? Really the question I'm asking is, how do you want to set up this world for future generations to live? Now for me, single use plastic water bottles are one of the ways that we are setting up future generations for failure and heartache. When I started this channel, one of the things that I knew that I didn't wanna do was get preachy. I don't think it helps anybody and I certainly don't wanna be preached to. But plastic water bottles, come on guys, really? I get that it's convenient. There's a lot of things that are convenient that we don't do because, well, it would be destructive. And that's what plastic water bottles are. And let me say really quick from my pedestal, I know there's a lot of things that I do in my life that are wasteful and I get it, but let's just stop using plastic water bottles, okay? Please, 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 please. Please, 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 please. By the way, preaching and shaming does not change anybody. Nobody said it quite like Miss Taylor Swift. Shade never made anybody less gay. So for your enjoyment, here's some really quick facts about single use water bottles. It takes three times as much water to make the bottle than is actually in the bottle. Every single second, a thousand people open another plastic single-use water bottle. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4, every single week, there's 40,000 semi-trucks on our roads to deliver plastic bottle waters. Bottle waters, plastic bottle waters, plastic water bottles. 5,000, 6,000, 7,000. Today, our landfills are full of more than two million pounds of plastic water bottle. Not two million pounds, two million tons. 
ton. And finally, it could take up to a thousand years for a single water bottle to decompose. And in the process, it releases all kinds of harmful chemicals and gas. <coughs> I put a link in the description for all of these facts for you can check them out yourself. This is one of the most simplest things that we can do to create change in the world around us. Buy one of these babies and take it with you everywhere. I have my reusable bottles with me pretty much everywhere I go. One for coffee, one for water. I love them so much, it's creepy. All right, so it is 9 a.m. Right now it's only 70 degrees. 9 a.m., 70 degrees and I'm checking on the water bottles. Here's the swell bottle. There's zero movement. <laughs> this is gonna last longer than I thought it was going to. Now, the hydro flask. <gasps> Do you hear that? I mean, that's so minimal. All right guys, it's 11 a.m., darn near close to 80 degrees. It's actually warming up quicker than I thought it was gonna warm up. Swell bottle. There's a little bit of movement. Hydro flask. Ooh. There's a lot more movement in there. A lot more liquid. I can't believe this. It's surprising me. We'll see. What is up? It is 1 p.m. About 84 degrees. Six hours so far. Swell. It's still really solid. Oh, guys, if this goes through the night, uh, I'm not waking up every two hours. Hydro flask. A lot more room. All right, guys, so here's the deal. It's 10 p.m. swell. About the same. Hydro flask. Oh, so we pull out of here tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. and uh, if this is still going, I'll just take them with me. Good night. So let's dive into what I love and don't love about these bottles and their makers. I also wanna mention that these two bottles are one ounce difference. The Hydro Flask is 24 ounce, the Swell is 25 ounce, and the Hydro Flask is $27 and the swell is $45. So I'm gonna start with the Hydro Flask. Now, I'm a little partial to the Hydro Flask. It is the first bottle that I fell in love with, and the company originates in Bend, Oregon, which Bend, Oregon is just my paradise. I found out in my research that Hydro Flask donates a portion of their profits to a, to a few different organizations. They put it under an umbrella called Parks for All, and it's based around national and state parks. They donate to organizations who are maintaining parks and making them accessible for more people. I think that's really great. To date, they've donated about $1.5 million to those organizations. Cha-ching! Now here's the problem I have with Hydro Flask. I couldn't find anything about the materials and how they're sourced, if it's done ethically and with as little impact on the earth as possible. I couldn't find anything. And as far as labor goes, they follow the Higgs FSLM standards. And I'll link that in the description below if you wanna look into them. What that means really isn't as transparent as I wish it was. So for ethical materials and labor, there's just not enough information to make a decision based on that. And for that, I blame Hydro Flask. And I wish they would be more transparent with how they're sourcing the materials and how they're treating their laborers. Now, what I love about this bottle, it stays cold for so long. That's how I originally fell in love with it. It stays cold for a really long time. I love their colors and their styles and they do different lines. They have a neon line out right now that I really love. The color and the look match me perfectly. I know that sounds really weird to say, but I think most have noticed that water bottles have actually become an accessory. They don't hold any flavor at all, meaning I can put my hot coffee in the morning, my ice water in the afternoon, and then my cold brew in the evening. They're really easy to clean, and the Hydro Flask does not dent all that easy. I mean, you could definitely dent it. If you drop it, it's gonna dent. But it doesn't dent as easy as some other brands. Okay, so what do I not love about the Hydro Flask? There's literally only one thing. 
and that is the lid situation is a disaster. This is like the standard stock lid with a little handle, which is fine. It's it it does the job. They have some specialty lids that you can buy as accessories. I highly suggest you do not do this. <laughs> they have sport they have a sports top for the for their narrow mouth. And the first hydro flask I had, I got a sports top. I filled up my bottle, put the lid on, put it in my camera bag to go on a trip. Went through the airport, got on the airplane, put my camera bag under my seat, enjoyed my flight, got to my destination, went and grabbed my camera bag, and it was soaked with water. Come to find out that the sports tops on the hydro flasks leak on our kids' bottles, we also have the flip top straw lids and those also leak. And the straw mechanism like doesn't keep suction very long. I think they probably had them a couple weeks and the straw wasn't working. So, hydro flask, work on your lids, please. Otherwise, freaking love it. Seven a.m. the next morning. Twenty-four hours, baby. Oh, ho, 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 ho. swell. Still pretty solid. All right, so it's ten a.m. Second day. We're about to leave on our trip, so I've got to take the bottles with us. Check out Swell first. Hydro flask almost gone. So I'm gonna keep the two bottles together the whole time we're traveling so that they're in the exact same conditions all the time. Not exactly how I planned this experiment to go. I did not expect it to go multiple days, but uh, here we go. Swell. Still basically solid. Let's check out the hydro flask. Almost gone. So let's talk about Swell first as a company. And just like Hydroflask, I'll say right up top, I can't find any information on how they source their materials and how they treat their laborers. This bothers me. Swell as a company. One thing I love about it, female founded and owned and operated. The founder is still the, the CEO today. She founded the company in 2010. They've done some incredible things like donating a few thousand water bottles to schools, underprivileged schools in New York, which is really cool. They also donate to UNICEF and their clean water initiative. That's a cause that I can absolutely get behind. Okay, so what do I love about the swell? Well, it keeps things cold like the Hydro Flask, like for a really long time. This is gonna sound very odd, and I think it might just be my own brain convincing myself of something, but water actually seems to taste a little bit better from the Swell bottle. Isn't that weird? You know, I think this company is one of the first that looked at it as like a, an accessory, like a fashion statement. So their designs, they have a ton of different designs. And if I'm being completely honest, my perception of this brand is like the yoga woman's brand. Not that there's anything wrong with that at all, but when you go on their website, it just looks like a brand directed towards women. But I like the design, I like the color, and I like that most of the lid is still as well. Now, what do I not like about Swell? Well, there's a little bit of a list. The price. <laughs> I don't think the price is justifiable over the Hydro Flask at almost double. In this particular bottle, there is no strap or hook or anything for me to like hold on to, so I drop it a lot more. The paint on this bottle chips so easy. I can almost scratch the paint off with my fingernail. They definitely dent easier than the Hydro Flask. In the swell, I have yet to see a wide mouth meaning it's really difficult to get any kind of ice in there.
So this pile of ice is from the swell bottle and this puddle of water is from the hydro flask. Well, there you have it my friends. Swell is the coldest bottle between swell and hydro flask. You saw it here with your own eyes. Highly scientific experiment. I'm shocked. All right, my friends, thank you so much for watching. This is my video of hydro flask versus swell. What I love, what I don't love, and which one is colder. I hope this has been helpful, entertaining. Whatever it is you're here for, I hope you're getting it. And if you are, and you wanna cast your vote with me and stay informed on the products, makers, and philosophies that are gonna help us change the world, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell, because that's what I'm supposed to ask you to do. Wait, 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 before you go, one last thing. I wanted to show you this video I did about my journaling system in the Midori Traveler's Notebook. I love this journal. It's expandable, it's reusable, and that's one of the ways that I'm building my legacy. I think you'll like it, go ahead and check it out. Don't forget, be kind to one another, and remember, you're creating your legacy every single day. Bye-bye, everybody. Peace.